Now, as we've done the research, uh, you'll see, for example, a Dustin Johnson, uh, J.D. Holmes, Boo Weekly, uh, all the lower core players, Boo Weekly and, and uh, J.B. Holmes are actually upper core, but they have very severe angles, and you can tell that by, this, by the grip. And we'll show you what, this is a complementary grip when the palms are together. So, Jay, if you would, uh, we're going to show you how to set that complementary grip. So, Jay, if you bring your hands up like this, okay? And when Jay brought his hands up, his hips rotated to the right. You see that? Oh, yeah. So, even though his hips are rotated to the right, what he's going to do now, you're able to see this, I'll try and get out of your way. He's going to, I'm centering the bubble here, and he's going to set his palms parallel to the angle, to his angle. You got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, now what I want you to do, Jay, is hold that angle and rotate head, shoulder, everything back to the right. Uh, knee flex or no knee flex? And you'll notice your hips are square now, by the way. Do <laughs> you want me to add knee flex? Uh, no, you can stay tall for this. We'll add knee flex in a moment. So you see Jay has greater than 90 degrees of rotation. So we're back to this angle and range of motion. Now come back, Jay. Now go to 12 o'clock. What is that, about 1 o'clock there? Uh, a little past 1. Yeah. A little past 1. No, so when you put it, bring your hands together, now your hips just went the other way, by the way. Yeah, your hips just open. <laughs> now, if he puts his arms at his side, you'll find that his hips are square, where he is now. But as soon as his hands come up in front, you'll feel this. And now his hips are open. Now, what I want you to do, Jay, is with that 12 o'clock position, rotate back. Now, you want to say at 12. 12. Yeah. Let's compare your ability to rotate. So he's getting stuck. Now, while you're there, rotate to 130 or one wherever you were. See how much more you have. And you can see how many more degrees of rotation. So the width of the arc gets <coughs> bigger, better shoulder turn. What happens with many players is when their grip is not complementary, go to the top, stop, and lift. So uh, this will this will change. Uh, your ability to turn your shoulders. Now, left hand dictates your backswing. So, Jay, if you put your right hand behind your back. So, if you're, you can imagine that the left hand on this side creates tension or relaxes the core. So, if we now have you go parallel. There you go. Parallel to that. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now go ahead and show your rotation back. You can see again how much rotation Jay has. Now Jay, we should come back. Stronger being clockwise is not always good. It's, it's the angle. Let's say, oh, we can get that much by being stronger. Look what we might get here. Now, he's beyond his angle, and he's going to get stuck again. Okay. So it's, it's not just getting stronger. It is understanding your angles and being able to set them at address. Okay? So, um, let's see your right hand. Your right hand controls your through swing. So, <clears throat> go ahead and, you know, before you set the angle, set it at 12 o'clock and let's see what we've got. Okay, now if we simply rotate, he was at 12 o'clock, we're going to go to 1.30, you'll see how much more, how much easier it is for him to clear. So when you have a grip that is not complementary, one of if we our traditional grip, the right hand is a little weaker, the left hand is strong, they're not so go ahead and get a traditional grip, Jay. What you there you go. And go ahead and put your hands together there. Now go ahead and rotate back. So you're stuck there and where are you where are you gonna go? We're looking at injury uh, right now. So you're gonna have tension and see what we can do coming my way in the through swing. And you're stuck on both sides. So let's now grip and go both hands. There you go. His hips just squared up, by the way, when he did that. <laughs> so he's going to be... Now Jay's angle, <coughs> by the way, is... This is 158.5, we're set. Mine's 152. I'm six degrees greater, exactly. So my grip is going to be a lot stronger than Jay's this way. There is no way I can go uh, both ways. Now, if, we, if you look at Jay, we'll show you this down the line here in a moment. So if we were to have Jay, Jay, where are your hips going right now? Open. Okay. 
Now this is counterintuitive. I'm going to set the bar or the angle. The bar is now parallel. Now where are your hips? <laughs> Dead square. Okay, so he can use this grip if he chose to. When we talk about ground force. It's marginal, but there's a potential for you to use it. Go ahead and rotate back. So he has that great rotation back still. So it's not just being stronger, it's, how it's setting the angle. You can set the angle on either side, is the point. At 152, and then just measure my arm there. It goes up the other way. There you go. And, yep, there you go. And I'll tell you what, why don't I stay out of your way? I'm looking at it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jay's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's perfect. Though. Okay, so I'm now I'm going to put this on, and Jay, if you would show me where I need to go. Now, I don't know if you can see, my hips rotated way left. So <clears throat> if I were going to be able to, now my hips are square, and Jay, if you could just step to the side for one second. There's no way I'm going to play. I can turn better on both sides this way, but <laughs> Where I'm going to go to play is here, and that's where you have JB upper core players like a JB Holmes and Boo Weekly are going here. They've found it on their own, their complementary grip. So they're not on top, they're not side covered, they're going to be under here. And you can see under how much rotation I have. At 12 o'clock, uh, my flexibility is compromised even more than Jen's. I'm right here to right here. And that has a lot to do with how severe my angle is compared to Jen's. So. Okay, let's look at that down the line, okay? Uh, and we're going to show you the effect of this angle now. You can see Jay's hips. Ideally, with this camera angle, you can see how square his hips are. So bring your hands up. And as he brings his hands up, so anytime you're ready to place something in your hands, this is your, your body's going to respond to it. So, Jay, I'm going to give you 158 here, 158.5, to set your hands... Let your hands uh, have the bubble centered, so just set them parallel with that line. Now, how do your hips look, Jay? Square. So on the camera, you can see that it's simply creating this angle. Now show the amount of rotation you have back. Again, this is matching his lower core. And these angles change through the core region, and he has maximum rotation. He has greater than 90 degrees both ways. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now go back to 12. Open hip line, and now let's see what the rotation is in the back swing. He's stuck there. And again, this is an injury waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. so, so this angle, again, the when anytime you, if you're standing and your hands are, are good, at your side and your hips are square, as soon as you bring them up, your body's going to move. Your body's also going to move given the size of your grips. Uh, so we're going to go into that in another video, but um, we have now determined that we can set your body square <clears throat> in your dominant core, in any core region by your grip size. So, Jay, I want you to do one last thing. Step out of balance. Okay, now bring that angle up in front. He's in a position now that this angle does not fit. He's in a new new uh, core range, back to 158.5 here. Okay, and let's go parallel to that. There you go. Now rotate. I mean, your hips are still open. I can see. Mm -hmm. Now try and rotate back swing, and you're stuck. So this complementary grip. Uh, yeah. doesn't work if you're not in one of your dominant core stance widths. Uh, it only, uh, these are all matching. Your power spot, your complementary grip, uh, your stance width, and your grip size are all matching components. And those are components we can put you in very easily once your body's measured. Okay? Thanks, Jim. <laughs>